Larry Walther was raised in West Monroe, Louisiana, but a family tragedy caused him to move to Arkansas as a teenager. Pretty good way to, to grow up and a lot of friends in, the, in West Monroe. But uh, in April of, of 62, my parents were killed in a house fire. And uh, so uh, because of that, I relocated to Parkdale, Arkansas, where uh, my Aunt Willie, Miss Willie, uh, lived with her husband. Larry graduated from Wilmot High School, and in 1965, he enlisted in the Arkansas Air National Guard and served until 1971. He began classes at UAM, known at that time as Arkansas A&M College, in 1966. My mother encouraged me to go to college. That was something that she had, had always wanted. We really didn't have anybody in our family who had gone to college. Now, my, my generation, uh, most of us, you know, my cousins and myself, we, we graduated from college, but, um, but before that, we didn't have any college graduates in the family, so I'm one of the, the first to get a college degree. Larry graduated from UAM in 1970 with a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics degree with a minor in Economics. During his time at UAM, he was a member of Theta Xi and served as a speaker of the Student Senate. His career began as an engineer at Southwestern Bell Telephone Company now AT&T. In 2003, he was appointed as the director of the Arkansas Economic Development Commission by Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. President George W. Bush nominated Larry in 2008 to serve as the director of the U.S. Trade and Development Agency. In 2011, President Barack Obama nominated him to serve on the board of directors for the Export Import Bank of the United States. When I was on the board of XM Bank, uh, I was in Mumbai, India, uh, with the chairman of the board of XM Bank and our chief of, of financial officer. We had just provided a loan guarantee to the richest man in India, uh, Mukesh Abani. And he, um, he invited us to have dinner with him in his home. Well, his home is the purported to be the most expensive home in the world. And it's on the Bay of Mumbai, and uh, it's a towering multi-story building. It's a high rise actually, but it's, it's his home. So we have dinner with him. We're sitting around a round, big round table having a wonderful dinner, uh, looking over the bay, uh, the beautiful lights in the evening. It was, and I'm sitting there and I, got, I, I thought to myself, what in the world am I doing here? I'm from Parkdale, Arkansas. But you know, the reason I was there was because of what I learned and, what, and the confidence I got by being at the University of Arkansas in Monticello. He currently serves as a treasurer of the state of Arkansas, a role he was appointed to by Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders in August 2023. Larry previously served on the board of directors of the UAM Alumni Association, and in 2004, he received the UAM Alumni Award for Achievement and Merit. His wife, Janice Vale Walther, who also attended UAM, passed away in 2023. They had been married for 53 years and have two children, Bill and Mandy, seven grandchildren, and one great-grandchild. I go back to the things that I learned at UAM that allowed me to get the confidence to go out into the world and not just be a part of something in Little Rock, Arkansas, or Arkansas in total, or Washington, D.C., but worldwide. And it's been a wonderful career, but it all started with my experiences and the confidence that was given to me uh, by those professors and the people around me, not just the professors, the leadership of the, of the, of the college and, and fellow students. Uh, it just was a wonderful experience for me and uh, I've been blessed by it and I just think that this, is, this school is a great place for young men and women to develop those kind of skills and so they can go out and do the kind of the things that I've done. Congratulations to our treasurer and my good friend Larry Walther for being named the University of Arkansas at Monticello's Distinguished Alumni this year. I first met Larry when he served under my dad. 
After a successful career in the private sector, he and I got to know each other even better when I happened to move into a house he used to live in. During a massive snowstorm, our water line burst in the middle of the night. I couldn't find the shutoff valve, so I called Larry for help. Larry hopped on the phone, but didn't have any idea where the water line was either. So he put his wife, Janice, on the line, and she gave me step-by-step -step directions. To my family, they were lifesavers, but I'm pretty sure that's just how Larry is with all of his friends. As many of you know, we lost Janice last year. Larry was by her side the whole time, a loving, caring husband of 53 years. They married the same year that Larry graduated from UAM with a degree in math and economics. It would be an education that served him well, from business to state government to his work in federal trade policy. Beyond his degree though, Larry developed his character in college, his work ethic, his humor, his integrity, and his devotion to public service. It's an education that served him and all Arkansans well. Larry, congratulations on this high honor and thank you for your service to our great state. For his professional achievements and dedicated support of the university, UAM is proud to recognize Larry Walther as the 2024 Distinguished Alumnus.